But the first three were all Bruho not winning a game, and the last time went game five. Oh, okay. So, so there's something we'll to be see. said about this set. And, and they haven't played in a couple months. Right. Last right. time was before Shine, before Bruho went on that crazy run, part of which was beating Mutase, right, one of right. the best Peaches. Very, um, very interesting set we're going to have here. here. I did so not. Yeah, I'm <laughs> super interested to see this. Bruho, of course, coming off of second place, or first place in doubles. Right, right. Bruho and Just Boo, they play Wii Fit and, and K Roll mostly. My goodness. Um, he's an incredible. Th those two are so good at doubles. Yeah. Bruho's a really smart doubles player. So we'll um, see. There's a lot of story to be had here. Obviously, Bruho's going to try and put one on the board for the lifetime score. And a lot has happened since mm -hmm. they've played last. Hopefully he can apply it, but Nuggets may just have to remind Brujo what the score is for yeah. a reason. We'll see. So far, Nuggets put a lot of percent on. And uh, so Brujo and Loser is losing a super tight well, Game 5 set to Palka. Yes. Yeah. Um, went, it was a really crazy set. He almost won Game 4. He was alive at like 220%. Right. Almost killed him a couple times. Uh, Trey, of course, went to Losers a little early, to the surprise of many of us, losing yeah. to RTS, who is on the run of his lifetime so far. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Ended with a pretty unfortunate uh, SD from the Nuggets. Too, oh, right. So I did hear about that. A little sad, but I saw Nuggets immediately sit down and play with a lot of passion. So I think yeah. we're going to see some of that in this <laughs> top And eight. right away, we're seeing the way Trey likes to start sets. You know, sometimes he will just kind of give oh. you a game where he's not fully paying attention and then right. use that to adapt. But other times, he'll just come out of the gate firing like this. And it's great to see him like this, you know, late in this bracket, not giving away any freebies game one. He's a full stock ahead. Pushing this advantage and lead trapping so well. Right, and I, like I said, I think we're gonna see that because of that unfortunate winter side mm -hmm. run. Okay, oh, good I like, that, like that option finally coming in. Gives some room to breathe. Up smash, not gonna connect. Oh, a little too bold. I think dash back, short hop up air would have connected there. Um, Bruho just getting a little too greedy there, looking for the immediate kill. Nice. There it is. Gets it that time. Good use of the armor and the jab, of course. Yep. That crown armor got buffed a few patches ago. It is 65 frames of armor now. Oh my! Goodness. Of course, you can just you can just grab it, of course. Right. But like, it's a lot of armor. <laughs> Goes through our send bear. <laughs> Jeez. There is a percent threshold. Like you can reach ah. a threshold where you'll go through it, but it's a high one. Right, right. Not one that you, uh, not one that you get very often or find out accidentally. And there's yeah. another solid move to talk about that forward air coming in from Daisy, gonna seal that second stock back to neutral here, and it's looking tough. Oh looking real All tough. right. <laughs> it is so good to see Trey hitting longer peach combos. Because for so many years, he was just like, nah, I'm too good at neutral. I won't worry about it. <laughs> and um, his neutral has not gotten worse. Right. But he has the combos. And now he's, it's so scary. Yeah, why not both? You know? Yeah. <laughs> OK. Forder going to start the combo here from Brujo. Maybe start the comeback. Yeah, this is a character and a player who is truly never out of a game. Right, right. Like, Brujo is such a smart player. He's, he always stays calm to a really impressive degree for someone so young, especially. Ooh, um, he's, he's able to stay consistent in these these tight games. Nice. Another. And he plays a character that suits that well as well. Right, <laughs> so I was going to say. You give K roll one chance, you might just die immediately. <laughs> we saw so many early spikes with the back air and the down air in doubles, so I'm getting stocks at like 40 or 50 on all these like all the other characters. And those games where Brujo's are like able to live to 200, the perfect mm -hmm. player to do that. Yeah, we saw it from some of his shine sets, you know, against Mutase, against Kiwi. Had some great wins, and he was living till like, you know, 230 in some of these matchups. <laughs> Whoa, there I is. love risking it all with that dash yep. tag. Not going to work out, though. And a solid two stock from Nuggets in that game one. And that's, what, that's where Trey is most comfortable when he, you know, comes out of the gate and wins neutral once, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you're like, what happened? I'm a stock down. Right, right. Like, <laughs> and. He cut him. He didn't even hit. You know, he did not have a, not a peach zero to death combo. Just did like a combo for like thirty, sent him off stage, and kept him at ledge for about a minute before we right. saw that counter. So also like with all due respect, Nuggets is really good at not playing neutral too. Yes. Like <laughs> Nuggets will like beat you up for a stock and a half, two stocks, and then say, "All right, it's on you now." And we yeah. saw it right there at the end where you know Nuggets is just chilling, waiting for that dash tag, and then hits to the back air like. You know, it's it's not even necessarily camping or playing conservative. Yeah. It's just like using the lead to your advantage, wait, waiting for them to just make a mistake. Yeah, it's you know, it's camping in your face. Yeah, that's yeah. what Peach is good at. Is what Nuggets is good at. Okay. Like Peach is not a character who's interested in like timing you out unless she absolutely has to. Right, right. You know, there's some matchups where she plays like a timeout character, and a lot of it's like you know, 
someone else trying to time her out, she's like, I'll do it back to you. Someone <laughs> like Sonic or Steve. Exactly. But um, for the most part, she's just like, she has the ability to wait through all these things and just be like, I can use my move, my burst movement, even though my run speed is slow, I can use my burst movement to just get around anything you throw out that's a mistake. And we're seeing a very similar start here. He misses a float nair that would have killed, but that's, that's fine here in this situation. He's doing well. Yeah, so far not too bad. A very brave roll on from nice. Buho. Yep. Finally going down after that neutral air center stage. Looking tough. The combos are just so very powerful in general, but of course on K Rule. Yeah, you know, this this matchup is like I don't think it's terrible, you know, especially by K Rule standards. I think right. it's like it's not that bad. I certainly think Peach wins it. But it's it's a doable matchup for K Rule. Yeah, sure. Um neutral is fine for him. But sure, sure. that's not really like, Trey's neutral is very good, but that's not what he's looking to exploit in this matchup. He's trying to win neutral once and be like, all right, let's stock. Yep. I don't care if it takes two full minutes, let's stock. Love the idea there, not connecting, and the Nuggets back center stage. All of these projectiles coming out from Brujo, but not enough nice. to put too much pressure on. Oh, no. I think also another thing to point out that keeps this matchup kind of doable for K-Roll, K-Roll Fournier is one of the best aerials in the entire game. <laughs> right. It was already one of the best on release, and it got buffed kind of significantly. Um, it's minus four or five, depending on the hitbox. It is safe on Bowser's shield. <laughs> and it's as much of a disjoint as some sword moves. Jeez. It also does kind of, okay, solid hit. It, it takes up exactly the space that Nuggets would generally like to yes. float in, although we're not seeing that too often. Interesting win box. Yeah. <laughs> with the pressure on here with the turn of This is where things get rough. Yeah, the, it, the turn ups specifically have been fantastic. Oh, game. Saturn actually is going to let him get back. Oh, he still had time. Nice. Okay. The Saturn does not kill in that situation, so that's actually a bad time to pull the Saturn. Right. Trey's luck coming back to bite him. Uh oh. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, there you see the K roll fair. That thing, that thing is legit. And Which another is such good patient play from Trey. Yeah, another wait and see moment. A bunch of aerials coming out, and then one very big back air from the center stage. Looks really good for Nuggets, and the combos are so good too. Yep. And we're seeing, like, he's playing so well around Ali. I feel like one thing that a lot of people have trouble with in Smash is they kind of take their foot off the gas when they have a lead, or, like, too big of a lead. Right, right. And I think it's really interesting to watch because Nuggets does that in a way that works. Because yeah, he'll be yeah. like, okay, I don't care if the rest of the game plays out more competitively. Oh, not the bomb. oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. Not like that. <laughs> Never mind. It's, it's, it's a trace hot. That's how yeah, it goes. The taunt uh, also hides the bomb yeah. just in case for some reason Brujo didn't see it. <laughs> and then the pummel just immediately sent him flying. Yeah, there's some throws where you can throw armor at, depending yeah. on like how, how the animations work out. And like when the collateral hitbox goes off to explode it. Right. But um, I, th I think if he did an immediate back throw, uh, that would have been my, fine. My first thought as well. Uh, but the pummel set it off right away. He was done. So back to small battlefield, which uh, I like the idea on the stage pick. Didn't really work yeah, out. I think it's fine. But I feel like the, the stage, stages K Rule wants in a lot of matchups are like, I think he does better on some stages that have like more you know, open spaces on them. Sure, yeah. Something like Kalos or Town. Ooh. But Peach is so good on FD and is still good on anything similar to it that I don't think you want to go there, especially against Trey, who's so confident there. A lot of really good projectile pressure. Ooh, nice. And a good intercept, too. Have to go early. He's dead. Gotta, gotta get the kill here. I think uh, might have saved him. That's fine. Oh, if he got that. He could have run off countered that. Yeah. If he had a little more time, would have been the stock. What is going on? Is that like the third special item? Fourth special item? Oh, this is seen? Nuggets. Like, we just we yeah. expect this. <laughs> okay. This is, this is how he operates. <laughs> I can't explain why it's consistent, but it's been this way for, you know, five, six years at this point. So I'll check the setup. <laughs> really There's good, a lot of setups uh, to check. <laughs> yeah. Really good, like, spacing from Nuggets on that last stock. Dodging a lot of aerials. Unfortunately, still losing the stock, but definitely just had to mention it. Some really good spacing for sure. And, and I guess we're right back, and I think that's one of the most important things yeah. to point out. Like, the first two games, Nuggets took a big lead. Yes. And then... Closed out the first stock and continued that lead. Right, right. This time it was Brujo. He won the first couple interactions. He had a significant lead. He couldn't close out that stock till he was at high percent, and then he ends up losing the stock right away or back to an even game. Ooh. Love that little combo there. So good that is guaranteed until maybe 10 or so, fourth or four, uh, fourth or dash attack. Okay. Looking for some aerials. And honestly, I like the projectile plan because that is definitely what got Brujo that lead to begin with. Unfortunately, the dash tag ill-spaced. Nuggets putting the pressure on, and the turnups so very dangerous. 
Yeah, two nips really is the biggest thing K Rule has trouble with a lot in this matchup. But again, that crown armor, you, just, you can't challenge it. If you if you get there early enough, you can right. immediately like hit him with something and then grab him. But if you're too late at all, you're getting jabbed, and then the returning crown combo hits you, and you, you might die at like 60 to that. Yeah, that up air hurts. An up smash, also not great. Mm -hmm. Right. Stuck on the ledge right now. What's the play? Ooh, dangerous situation for both of them. That yeah. down air from a platform does kill confirm. Okay, nice neutral air to open up the stage, but the Daisy Bomber, really good option. First time we saw it, and another stitch. I'm, I'm sorry to is. see what you mean about this. Yeah, no, this is this is just consistent. Yeah. This has been consistent for as long as I've known it. <laughs> well, another unfortunate stock. Rujo trying to respond back with the special move. Not gonna work. Okay. Oh, barely. Yeah, that's the better way to deal with that there. Floating above him, the only thing that can punish you there is an up tilt. That doesn't set up for a returning crown hitbox. Okay, yeah, I think Nuggets found like a really sweet spot in terms of like float spacing right now. Oh, he's got the crown. Nice. Okay. K Rule's crown is probably the best item in the game and he can't use it. <laughs> it's so really sad. unfortunate. All right. Uh, all right, can he get back from this? Oh, good job good. getting inside of that one. He does recover, yeah. but it takes so much damage. I love that way too. And there goes the crown barely missing and the turnips are out. A rare right. miss. Wow. It's just so much pressure. And the crown, too? Oh. Yep. yep. All right. And guess that whiff punish. You know, he's so good against sword characters. I feel like he kind of uses that to the same effect against someone like K. Rule. You know, spacing around these armored moves like the Nair. Spacing around the Forger that has such a massive hitbox. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, good stuff to Nuggets. He's moving on to top six, uh, where he takes on RTS in the run 